Today I'm going to show you guys how to color match and install Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors and also show you guys how to level them out too. Alright, let's go! I'm coming in hot. Alright guys, today we have a very special package from Boost Auto Parts. Huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts for always hooking me up with their products. And, of course, oh, they even sent a red decal. Oh, we don't have a red one on the wall, we got a blue one. Yeah, we'll put that one on there. Yes. Um, let's see, here we go. Boom! Yo. Look at that! Yo. Oh, and they, they changed it up a little bit. They put Boost Auto Parts on the on the cap. Yeah, and which um, today's video, I'm sorry guys, that's gonna get covered up because we're gonna color match the mirrors. And we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I personally like the chrome on my mirrors. What we're gonna do is paint this red. What this is, is the switchback mirrors. Okay. So, this is gonna stay with the white LEDs during the, whenever I'm normally driving it. And then when I turn, it's gonna blink with amber. So I mean, essentially the exact same setup as what's on my Denali, but on a 05 Dur uh, yeah, on a 05 Duramax, which is really cool. Do you guys remember when Merck broke the tail lights? I think I've learned a very expensive lesson, and that is don't ever let him touch anything when you're trying to customize something because. Okay. Won't happen again. What'd you just do? I didn't do nothing. Look, what, what, mirror's fine. It's fine. It's cracked. No, it's not. You cracked it. I did not. I still see myself perfectly fine. You cracked my They don't mirror. see that. I see it. But they don't. Oh I'll my keep God. it in the dark. Yeah? <laughs> Guys, he cracked it. Shh. We still gotta get it off. Still gotta get it off. We always had that one friend that just always breaks stuff. I'm known for that, actually. <laughs> but wait. There's more. What happened, I my friend? I, I, as I was pulling it, I said, there's no way it's not gonna crack. And then it cracked. I knew it was gonna crack. It just, it had to, cause either I was pulling on it so hard that it was gonna hit something and just shatter. And I think that's what happened. Kind mm, of. I think you kind of pulled it wrong. Dude, this is hard, honestly. Not just me. It's not just you. Because all the videos that we've seen. They just pop right out. Yes. Like super easy. And the amount of pressure we had to put in. Yeah, it's it's crazy. There's a little tab like this that comes out the back on the bottom here. That's what caught mine and broke mine. If you break the mirrors, what you wanna do is. There's four screws, there's one here, one there, one there, and one there. Take those screws out and you kinda have to finagle it a little bit to get the little tab out from behind the main mirror holder. Then once you get in here, the bottom cap will pretty much just fall off um, because it's held on by the tabs there. The top cap, you have four tabs. You have one here, one here, one here, one here, and on JW's, I'll show you. Here, take the flathead. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is you're going to peel back. So that one should be loose on each yep. side. It's the top ones that are holding. So you yep, this yeah. one loose now. Yeah, just like that. So those little four tabs just kind of clip in onto the clips right there like that. And then you're gonna go in and we're gonna remove this screw here and this screw here, which is holding on to the turn signal. And we'll slide that out. Well, we'll probably just leave the wires in there and just take them to the bottom and take off. Next thing to do is your plug is here. I already put, unplugged it. But you unplug your turn signal on the face of the mirror. Here and here. Or here and here, we'll pull it apart like that. That'll allow you to rock that up. Bam. There's two screws that hold this here and here. One there, one there. You just go in here and pull the turn signal out. There you go. So we'll tape everything else off. Well, next thing we want to do is remove the reverse light LED or reverse LED lights. Two screws right there. Remove the two screws and then it'll just pop right out. Just so that way we can really paint 
the whole thing. Next, what you wanna do, reinstall your two screws. We're holding your turn signal back. Put some plastic over your mechanism. Tuck all your wires that go to the turn signals and all that into that and just keep it all nice and neat. We extended it just a little bit. We put the blue tape in there. That way we could paint the inside here and give a good crisp line on both sides. Tape all your wires up up top and just stick them in there too. First coat of primer. Remember, take your time on this if you want it to look good. Don't just rush and paint it all at once because you're gonna get runs. Thin coats and you'll be good. Day three of painting the toe mirrors. Actually looks pretty good. We have a little bit of orange peel, but what we're about to do is wet sand with 300 grit. 320. 320. So this is three layers of primer, three layers of paint, and then we're gonna do three layers of clear coat. Looks good. I'm curious. Let's get, Let's get a glimpse. Let's get a glimpse. This one goes here. <laughs> Quit. Oh yeah. Come on now. Oh yeah. Get with it, son. That's gonna look so oh, good. Yeah. Up in there. Oh, with the chrome, yeah. chrome. All right. So it's been scuffed. Just went with 320 and did it really gently. And now we are ready for clear coat and we're gonna sand that down again with 320 mm -hmm. and then do another clear coat and then the final clear coat. final clear coat Oof, i don't know i think it's pretty close oh yeah that that's pretty close you can't even tell once we put a clear coat on it oh yeah uh, that's pretty good Check it out. Check it out. Remember, light coat first. Don't ever go just on it. You always want to do thin light coats and build it up. Layer one. Is that the new can of clear coat or is that the old can? It's the new one. New one? Three weeks later. All right, so we finally got the mirror finished right here. There it is. Man, this took freaking forever, mainly because this was my first time ever painting anything, really. Um, it's still not as perfect as I want it to be. There's some spots, like right here, 
uh, chipped a little bit so there you can see slightly uh, black showing up and there's still a there's still a little bit of orange peel that I want to get rid of but really for first time color matching the toe mirrors I think it turned out pretty good uh, we do have I am struggling with uh, this one right here which uh, it wrinkled up right here I don't th I think I polished it and then I put a, a clear coat over it without putting alcohol so it clear uh, so it wrinkled up right there so I need to finish this up Doing the mirrors on these is fairly simple. You pop this off. Cool. You pop this off. You're gonna, you can use like a flathead screwdriver. Just like that. And then you pop this off. So all you have to do is, um, let's see. You gotta pop this off as well. There you go that and another one right there there we go all right folks that is a seven millimeter that is also a seven millimeter so that's what we need there you go just remove those you're going to want to remove that seven millimeter bolt Seven, mil seven millimeter bolt right there and this little screw right here oh uh, luckily my flathead just fits right in this is what it should look like here's the wire coming from your tow mirrors so just follow that wire and unplug it from this Like so, and I'm not sure why it's plugged in. This is plugged in right here, but unplug that like that. So, yeah, these are 10 millimeter bolts. Undo these, and your tow mirror should slide right out. We have a special guest, Cam. With the Ram. With the Ram. Well, So the wire that you fish through, you're going to want to clip it in. The blue one goes right there and the black one from the Boost Auto Parts tow mirror will go in right there. Clip. Yeah, if we look under here, it'll say blue, it'll say black. So yeah, this wire goes there and the blue wire goes right there or the blue clip goes right there. All right, so to fish the wires through, you're going to want to remove the little panel that's right here for some reason uh, mine was wet I think when I spilled water 
and I didn't realize it. It just kind of stayed there, but you're gonna wanna pull, there's gonna be this, this panel out this way too. Uh, this panel is held by these two little clips. And now is the fun part. We're gonna have to fish the wire through here and then it'll come out right there. And then we're gonna have to run it all the way through. And then we're gonna have to do the same with that door panel. so we've routed the wires all the way through the grommet on this side as well so here it is now what you want to do is you're going to want to cut them like right here and splice them into one wire not one wire but uh, combine them together and then run it through the firewall the wires have been cut here and cut here now watch this what we're going to do is twist the orange wires together all right, and then we're just gonna match the colors, gray with gray, and then white with white. I use these butt connectors, which are heat strip. Like so. Crimp it. The wires that we cut from the passenger side, these should be long enough. These should be long enough for us to reuse to route it through the firewall. I just like to go over it again, just crimp it real good. Now apply some heat on there and make those heat shrinks work. All right, there we have it. So we got two wires spliced into one. And then this part, we're gonna run it through the firewall down there. And then we got a fuse tab that'll work with it. Now, one thing to, one thing to consider is I believe this gray, I believe this gray is your ground. And according to Boost Auto Parts video, they wanna ground it I guess on the metal here somewhere. All right, so you got your firewall here. And you got a plug running through your firewall. We just took a, a clothes hanger, basically. This one was already cut. Um, somebody had already ran some other wires. But we took the clothes hanger and pushed it on through. And now, JW can show you where it's at. Here you go. It came out through right there. And we're just gonna tape up the wires to the coat hanger and then just pull the coat hanger and should and then the wire should go through. All right, we are finishing up. Of course, Merck had to be a little extra. Please Whoa, explain wait, to wait, us. wait, wait, real quick. Extra is is this. So he had a purple and white wire for the booster. I, I would assume so. Aftermarket or and whoever ran it already put it in this uh, sleeve. So what I did was put our orange and white wire in the sleeve. We took this bracket off pulled the cap and then ran the sleeve underneath the cap under here and pulled our wires up through out of the sleeve and ran the sleeve out to where it was supposed to go so then i know you guys on instagram have seen these pop up on the little buy it things him being extra what'd you do i went and bought these they're heat shrink with solder in the middle of them and then i mean it makes your connection super super good and watertight but you just run the wires on each side of each other in the sh in the heat shrink right there and then what we'll do is take our lighter you don't have to crimp it or anything like that no crimp we'll heat shrink one side to hold it in place 
We'll heat shrink the other side to hold it in place. Oh. And we'll hit the solder in the middle. And if you watch it, oh, go. solder will melt. Nice. And there you go. Just set it off to the side, let it dry. It's good to go. All right, so in order for you to get power, you're gonna wanna tap your white wire to your trailer backup right there. And then you wanna tap your orange wire to your trailer park, just like this. And then the final product. I put everything back together um only downside is I, I would love the way it turned out you know for for the first time for painting something for the first time i think did a pretty good job of it but if we look right here this is a bit of a brighter red compared to the truck which i thought my truck was brighter red so we might have to re uh repaint it but for now i'm just gonna rock it because it's been a long overdue to put these on. All right, guys, to level the tow mirrors, you, you're going to have to take the cap off and you're going to loosen up the top two bolts and just loosen up the bottom two just a little bit. Actually, you want to take these out all the way so that way you could put three washers. I glued them together so it sticks better. All right, let's show everybody how to do it. So, all right. so the trick that we figured out is we're taking the painter's tape and wrapping it over our three washers and then puncturing the hole with the bolt and then we'll use the painter's tape as kind of like an extra finger to get it up in where it needs to go so jw took this side and fixed fished it in and then kind of rolled the washers with a flathead and got the three behind it yep. so the front's pretty easy because all we'll do is we'll pull this out and just take it like that flat and slide it up in there and then like I, like I said, the back's gonna have to be rolled in on the outside. And you'll run it up in there like that. And then you end up with that. So you can literally finger tighten that through your washers. And you just take your tape, rip it off. And there you go, your washers are in. Here you have it boys. We have the Boost Auto Parts mirror all finished up, wired up. Looking good, and then we're gonna take a look at the Denali one, which is essentially the same one. There we go, switchbacks. They're both switchbacks, so they're identical. Um, I did put three washers there, three washers there. I probably could have put four. Four would have leveled it out a little bit more, but hey, that's a lot better than, looks good. Headlights look good. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this video. Let me know if it helped. We've spent probably three, four months doing it, but if I do it again, I'll probably do a better job of uh, the prep work. I, I think I, I have a better understanding of the prep work. I bought a sander so it'll I can sand it down a little bit better next time. And when we started, it was in the winter time and the temperatures all of a sudden just dropped to like 30s and 40s in Georgia, which, uh, that's pretty cold for us, but uh, that is not a very good painting condition. And I didn't really have a heater to put in the garage to kind of keep it warm. So that's why it took so long. But I think for, you know, painting something for the first time, they came out really good. Pretty satisfied with it. I may eventually redo it just because the color is slightly off. So I may redo it to where it matches the truck a little bit more. Who knows, maybe it's the truck that needs washing and polishing too. For the most part, it looks great. I'm very satisfied and uh, really happy with the way it turned out so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button for future duramax content and future how-to videos related to the loi and the denali